huge for spotlight, huge for spotlight, huge for spotlight, oh yeah. Hello guys and welcome back to YouTuber Spotlight and today we'll be looking at Zemolf, Zemolf of Finland, the home of Lordy and Hard Rock. The reason why Zemolf is in the YouTuber Spotlight is because I like his stuff, which is pretty obvious because he's in the YouTuber Spotlight. It sounds like circular reasoning, doesn't it? Let's move on to his videos as we always do. What it was actually for me, two things. It's always two things. Why is that? I don't know. Well, it might even be three. I'll, uh, I'll tell you what it is. But the, one of the main things that caught my attention, it was, wasn't even that long ago, it was with Day Z. He has a Day Z Let's Play, but it, I find it very authentic and quite convincing it's very mesmerizingly enjoyingly entertaining to watch so i would recommend that you go and check that out secondly is his dwarf fortress let's play and as you know i love dwarf fortress so at least you should know by now so there's that but also he does take the time to read the books in skyrim and you know how much i love that I love it. I love it when other people do it. That's just a quick overview of his stuff. But let's get down the real meat of the show and have a little chat with Zimalf. Hello Zimalf and welcome to YouTuber Spotlight. Yes, uh, hello Sam and thanks for putting me in the spotlight. It's not a problem at all. It's my pleasure, in fact. So I think what we'll do is we'll do what we always do. We'll get to know you on a little bit more of a personal level. And the first thing I want to know is what's the story behind the name of your YouTube channel? And how did you pick it? The short version is that Jamalov is my gamer tag. I use it in pretty much all the games I play, especially online. The name itself I came up back in 1995 when I was playing an RPG called Nahlak and in that game you create the group of characters and uh, I wanted to uh, make sure I uh, remember the roles of the characters based on their names and uh, Gemalf was my fire mage in that group. See if you can uh, crack the code for the name and uh, yeah and then uh, the name just stuck with me. I liked it and uh, have used it ever since. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Let's move on. I want to talk to you about some questions to probe your personality. So the first one that I want to ask you is, if you could have dinner with anyone from history at all, who would you pick and why? From the top of my head, maybe uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. Why? <laughs> we could talk about hobbits and Kalevala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, he's one of my favorite authors, so that's a brilliant choice in my eyes. Anyway, if you won 20 million in the lottery, what would you do with the money? Maybe a bit of a boring answer. Uh, I'd pay off debt, uh, invest the money, uh, live off the interest, mm, sit down and think what I really want to do with life. Then, when I wouldn't have to worry about money at all, I don't know if I have any things that I would immediately buy or something. Probably not. I would I would sit down and think about it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. This probably would have been my first move. So what upcoming games are you looking forward to playing? There aren't any upcoming games that I really, really look forward to playing. Like on the same level I waited for Skyrim. But now that I think of it, the XCOM remake, uh, not the first person, first person shooter one, but uh, turn-based tactics game and also Mech Warrior Tactics. I was a big fan of Mech Force back in the Amiga days. So those two are something I look forward to playing. And also uh, Wasteland 2 that got the Kickstarter and development going. We don't know that much about that yet. And uh, I'm a big fan of the Elder Scrolls series, big fan of Fallout series. So. Uh, on the longer term, whatever is next for those those two, perhaps Fallout next will be my next big game I wait. Oh, now that I think of it, the cyberpunk game that CD Projekt, the developer of The Witcher and Witcher 2 is creating, that is something that is on my radar, but we don't know that much about that yet. <laughs> Yeah, wow. From uh, having nothing in mind to a whole bunch of games like that. But I, actually, the point that you made with about the uh, Wasteland 2 Kickstarter, I actually 
funded that Kickstarter as well myself. So I'm very interested to see what game comes out from that. So let's change the subject and talk about your channel. The first thing I want to ask you about your channel is what inspired you to start making videos at the very beginning? It uh, really started by me watching other gamers, other Let's Players videos. Back in January 2011, uh, I first looked for some Minecraft tutorials as I was starting to play Minecraft, uh, found out about what Let's Play was, found out Minecraft Let's Plays, found Let's Plays of other games, uh, I stumbled on Jeff Major's Dwarf Fortress videos, from there I found Veriax, my name is not Lily, I found Voltron Army, and uh, from there I uh, found this huge uh, Let's Player community with a different kind of Let's Players, and there I realized that it's really not about views, not about subscribers, but about sharing that experience of that I guess was the final final inspiration and, and encouragement for me to start start making videos. I never expected more than 10 or, or 100, 100 people to watch my videos, but that's how things go sometimes. That's good. I like that. Let's move on. Which YouTubers are you friendly with? There uh, aren't any YouTubers or Let's Players I'm in regular contact with, but I am friendly with quite many from the Voltron Army community. Hopefully the official site will be back up one day. And also uh, other Let's Players uh, who I watch leave comments on their videos. Some of them watch my videos, leave comments on my videos. Uh, perhaps tweet back and forth every now and then, uh, send messages to each other. And of course all the all the subscribers who uh, or my viewers who regularly watch my videos leave comments. I really like uh, really like and it's important part of let's playing for me to uh, read all the comments and reply to the comments. And also uh, re leave comments on other let's players videos and uh, get replied. So I guess that, that that counts as being friendly with. Okie dokie. What's the nicest thing that someone's ever said about your videos? Not any specific comment or thing come to mind, but in general comments comments where someone has really enjoyed my videos. Not just one video, like a nice video, keep it up. But uh, maybe someone has watched the whole playlist, the whole whole Let's Play. Perhaps they haven't even watched that many Let's Plays before, and uh, when they tell me how much they enjoyed the whole whole series, how much they are, they have enjoyed like many of my videos. I, I think those are the nicest things. Yeah, I can appreciate that. I feel like I'm on the same sort of wavelength as you when it comes to this. I really love it when people watch a playthrough and you can see that they're following it because they keep leaving comments on random videos all the way along. <laughs> I would, when I get the emails, I can see like the steady stream of progress. I love it. And with regards to your YouTube channel, what hopes do you have for the future of that? You know, uh, when I when I started my channel or when I started Let's Playing in... Uh in the spring 2011. I, I didn't have any any hopes for the channel. I, I just started making videos and I never ever expected the channel to grow in the thousand, let alone thousands of subscribers and views. But now that the channel has grown, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing the channel grow even further. I am uh, displaying ads on the on the on the channel and I have received some money from it and if the channel would happen to grow really large and uh, I'd get uh, significant money from the channel that wouldn't be the worst thing that could happen let's let's put it that way <laughs> yeah actually I, I've been watching the growth of your channel as well and it's skyrocketing lately it's doing really well and so I hope that the future is bright for you so uh, it's well it certainly will be if you just keep up doing what you're doing but on that note let's switch it around <laughs> talk about bad things so have you ever felt like stopping or giving up and if you have why what was the reason for that Yes, I have felt like stopping to make videos. Uh, I wouldn't say giving up, because that would mean that I'd have some goal. 
that I was giving up, but stopping to make videos, yes, uh, for one, because of all the time it takes to uh, to make make videos, and uh, sometimes I uh, I uh, I want to play more than I have time to record because of the of the disk space that I have to record all the time that goes into processing. I would I would much rather sometimes just play than uh, than do all that. It kind of slows down the gaming process. Before let's playing, I uh, I played through games even that I played with the kind of similar style I play now because there wasn't any uh, encoding and processing. I played through a game in in a week or two. Now that game might take me uh, two months or four months because of the let's playing. But uh, apart from that, uh, it's it's been a, it's been more fun than uh, than not. All right. I always ask everybody this, but uh, <laughs> what's the meanest thing that someone has said to you about your videos? Nothing, nothing too serious, but I did get more upset about negative comments early on when I was starting to make videos, especially those related to my accent, because well, I was, I was thinking that uh, are my videos good enough? to begin with and then someone commenting that they don't understand me and uh, English please and uh, slightly related to the previous question almost made me uh, stop before I even even began but uh, yeah no nothing nothing very mean has been said or at least I've been uh, I, I've successfully learned to spot the, those who are just being mean well, it's good. It's good that you successfully ignore them and that you didn't stop. I mean, it always riles me up when I hear people like, criticize people for things like their accent and their voice and the level of their English, etc. It really does boil my blood. So, <laughs> anyway, let's move on away from this subject into something completely different and let's play a game. The Would You Rather game. And I must remind you that these questions have an understated philosophical nature. So, would you rather be Four foot one, or seven foot nine? Uh, I think I would much rather be really tall than small. So, uh, some seven feet nine. Okay, I would probably pick to be tall as well. Would you rather always lose or never play? Definitely always lose. Uh, not playing is not an option. At least uh, afraid of losing. That's good. That's a positive attitude to have. I like that. Okay, here's another one. Would you rather overthrow a dictatorship or lead one? I don't believe in dictatorship ever being a good thing, so I would overthrow a dictatorship rather than leading one. Would you rather have a beautiful house but an ugly car or an ugly house and a beautiful car? That's an easy one. Uh, actually, I don't own a car and I have never owned one. I might one day, but uh, I would much rather have a beautiful house and an ugly car. Oh, I kind of feel like that's cheating a little bit. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Would you rather be able to hear any conversation in the whole world or take back things that you say? Uh, sometimes I do wish I could take back something I say. So, uh, yeah, I'd much rather be able to do that. <laughs> All right, that's a fair response. Okay, and that actually concludes our interview with you, Mr. Zomarov. So thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me and to engage everybody out there and uh, let us get to know you that little bit better. So thank you very much for that. Okay, uh, th thanks for having me here, Sam. It was it was great, and uh, yeah, take care. Bye bye. So there we go. That was our interview with Zomarov. I love saying that. I love it. I love it. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the interview that we had. And also, I hope that you take the time to check out his channel, as always. And I also would like you to subscribe to him if you like his stuff, which I'm pretty sure that you will. And when we come back... Oh, man. Oh, yeah. When we come back, we've got another YouTuber to chat with, another YouTuber to talk to. And uh, I'm, I know that I'm excited about speaking to Zemalf, but goodness sake. <laughs> I think... I think everyone's going to be very pleased about who we got next, but uh, that's definitely a big surprise when that comes. But in the time being, check out Zermalf and tell him how much you like him. Anyway, thank you very much. And so until next time, stay safe, take care of yourself. <laughs> <laughs>